Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. So I'm going to show you a few little tips and tricks for analytical cubism. So here we go. So basically uh, what I'm doing is I am working from a reference photo which includes a wine bottle, a glass and some grapes. Now the thing with analytical cubism is you want to start thinking about how you can begin to fragment the objects that you are trying to draw or paint and extend the uh, sort of uh, view plane that you are working from. Also think about overlapping some of the shapes, continuing the shapes and often in uh, this form of cubism you'll also be using a rather muted palette which is what I'm doing here so um, there's a lot of uh, maroons, reds, pinks and I'm extending a lot of the shapes I'm continuing them on um, and I'm just sort of having a little bit of um, uh, sort of play around with uh, some of these shapes uh, that I'm working with. Now when it comes to uh, cubism some of you might know uh, particular artists in particular that started the movement Pablo Picasso and Georges Braque. Now Georges Braque um, especially um, is uh, very well known for uh, analytical cubism and extending, overlapping and showing three-dimensional objects in a two-dimensional way. One of the other things, and this is also um, re reminiscent in both Braque's uh, work and Picasso's, is it's also about uh, sometimes depicting the same object but from different angles in the same piece of work. So often if you think about um, Picasso's work for example of course he would do a lot of work with portraits where you might see uh, things start to change in direction in terms of the eyes, the nose, the mouth and so on. So a lot of it is about depicting it in different ways. So what I'm doing as you can see is I'm using uh, a very muted, limited palette here. I'm extending some of the shapes. As you can see, the glass is sort of uh, extending and moving. The top of the wine bottle is moving across uh, the page. I'm also using some straight lines as well as curved lines to uh, depict some of the shapes around the glass and also the grapes themselves. Um, some of those I've depicted as squares and cubes. Of course this is where the term cubism came from. It's about changing the shapes and simplifying the lines. Okay, so it can take a little bit of getting used to, particularly if uh, this is a, a new art uh, movement to you, but it can be a, a, a really uh, fun one to try. So I hope it gives you uh, some ideas. And uh, what I'm also doing now is once this paint is dried, I'm using acrylic here, but um, this works in acrylic, it works in uh, pencil, watercolour, any medium you want to use will be brilliant uh, to start with with this. What I'm doing is I'm picking out some of the lines with pencil just to redefine some of them so that some of them become a little bit thicker, more defined than others. As you can see, some of the grapes I'm keeping with that sort of round um, uh, shape as they are. And, others are sort of straight lines. So here we go, just give you a little bit more of a close-up just so you can uh, see uh, how this piece has turned out. So I hope uh, it's enjoyable and inspirational for you. Please do remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos as well. I have all sorts. I will see you soon.